Hello all and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda. I'm gonna do a few more side quests today. Pick up a few masks and uh, some other miscellaneous things potentially. Not real sure yet. Just kind of feeling it out. I want to do a few things before we get to Econa Canyon. First things first. Let's uh, head into the stock pot in. Been here a few times, but uh, today we're actually gonna run upstairs and since we have the all night mask now, we're gonna listen to a little story. Hello, madam. Lovely f giant fucking fire you got behind you. I guess. Man, I'm real, I'm real concerned with this lady's safety. That's a. Uh, she's just waiting for death. Alright, let's turn on the all night mask. Oh, tortoise. <laughs> Sure. Read me a story. Okay. What I like to hear. Carnival of Time, four hours. We'll listen to the Four Giants story. Oh, do, do, do read with gusto. I do love me a good storytelling. Four Giants. This tale is from long ago, when the people weren't separated into four worlds like they are now. In those times, all people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. 100 steps north, 100 steps south, 100 steps east, 100 steps west. If you have need, call us in the loud voice by declaring something such as the mountain blizzard has trapped us, or the ocean is about to swallow us. Your cries, your cries shall call to us. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this, a little imp. The imp was a friend of the giants, since before they had created the worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? Sorry, I moved my head a little bit, I couldn't see past it. The childhood friend felt neglected, so he spread his anger across the four worlds. Repeatedly, he wronged all the people. Overwhelmed with misfortune, the people sang the song of prayer to the giants, who lived in each of the four compass directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. Oh, imp! Oh, imp! We are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. Oh, imp! Leave these for a worlds. Otherwise, we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens, and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the peasants rejoice and they worshipped the giants of the four worlds like gods, and they lived happily ever after. Don't think that's exactly how all this worked. Yes, it was lovely fun. What did... They sang a song to them. And now we're to the second day, so now we can hear the other one, I believe. Now we listen to this one. Carnival of Time is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm, yes. The Carnival of Time. Each year the season of harmony begins when the sun and moon are in alignment. Paying homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly, tirelessly in the process of progressing. The Carnival of Time is when the people of the four worlds celebrate that harmony and request fruitfulness Excuse me for the year. Bam! <laughs> Check out that art. For ages, people who have worn masks resembling the giants, who are the gods of the four worlds. Now it has become a custom for each person to bring a handmade mask to the Carnival of Time. It's said that if a couple united on the day of the festival and dedicated a mask as a sign of their union, it would bring luck. The centerpiece of the carnival, the clock tower, 
And on the eve of all the festivities, the doors and its roofs are opened from atop the clock tower roof. A ceremony called the gods. A ceremony to call the gods is held, and an ancient song is sung. All of these festivities for the Carnival of Time are held so that we may ask the gods for a har rich harvest in the year to come. We did good. It opens on the eve of the festival. Candy, yay. Ah, Jawbreaker. You were praised by the old woman. <laughs> No boomers in this house. So that story she told us was kind of interesting because I guess that's like our lore here of why the Skull Kid is doing what he's doing. Is the four giants are what separated from uh, the people at the time and then they left him behind. So he's basically unleashing his wrath upon uh, the people of Clocktown because he just wants his friends back. So it gives us kind of the implication that he's not, like, inherently evil. He's just really lonely and bitter and kind of lashing out. Alright, so next on the list is we're going to go over here to the milk bar. I like the idea of a milk bar. So we got to get the milk bar to open so that we can uh, go in and do, some, uh, do a little entertaining. Alright, and then for this one... Whoop, we need the... Uh, the Moo Mask, or Ramoni Mask. Because apparently we need to wear this in order to be able to get into the milk bar. Can you imagine having to go to a bar and then just, like, pop on one of these guys as far as your proof of membership? I don't know about you guys, but I know for a fact that somehow, somewhere, this is somebody's sleep paralysis demon. Yes, I am a member. Why, thank you so much. Let us get our milk on. Talk to this gentleman, I believe. Scheduled to do a show, but it got canceled. The place has a reputation for being great for a live venue. And it is a shame. Yeah, man. Do a sound check. Let's do a performance. Alright. Ocarina. Sure. Ah, yes. So melodious. Hmm. What well, feels good? That wretched senseless racket! A grumpy dude. Okay, I think now... We gotta switch. Get our Deku dude here. Yes, I'm... I has pipes! Yeah, starting to form a concerto here. We got more senseless racket. Man, what kind of milk you drinking, dog? White Russian, maybe. Right, let's get our gore on. <laughs> I'm so funny. Nice. Hmm. It's just really out of tune. Like, I'm. Maybe the guitar will put it together, but, uh. <laughs> I've got it with him. It, it does kind of sound like Senseless Racket. Let's get Slash on here. Here we go. Let's see what we've assembled. Weirdly enough, the guitar does kind of pull it together. Jazz, if ever I've heard it. Sounds good. It was the best. That melody. It brings back so many memories. It's their old standby ballad. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's the theme that the members of the previous generation of the Indiegogos made famous. I entered show business because I heard this song at the carnival a long time ago. By doing performances, I thought I'd maybe get to meet the singers of that song. 
The one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer, who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now. Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. It's just your face, man. Just pried his face right off his head and it's just, just take it. I don't care. I'm so moved. This mask looks so sad. It can put... It can put a tear on even a demon's eye. <laughs> you saw the tears of the circus leader, Gorman. This was added to your notebook. Damn, look at that. Oh, it's crying! I didn't... <laughs> That's so sad. It's just so fucking weird. We don't have many masks left, actually. Um, one, two, three, four, five. And then... One of those is a transformation mask, so yeah, one, two, three, four, five. So what do we have left? Um, the postman, the postman's hat, the the Anjou Cafe quest, which is that gives us, I think, the the couple's mask. So that's two. Uh, the mummy mask. I can't remember what that one's called. I think there's one called the stone mask, which like makes you transform into like a big thing. But I think it only works. It's, it's like the only one of the only other transformation masks in here. Oh, the Keaton mask. We don't have the Keaton mask. I don't think we want to get... Because, like, three of those I think we get in the same quest. Like, they're... Because the postman's hat... There's a time thing with a couple of these, I think. Like, I think you can't do... You kind of have to do, like, Anju and Coffee's quest, I think, like, twice. At least a decent portion of the way through to get... Because I think it's the postman's hat. You can't get the postman's hat and the couple's mask in the same run, I don't think. Oh, have we not met Coffee yet? No, we haven't. I don't know that we want to do that yet, though. Yeah, it might be its own video. Start the day over here. Let's, uh... Let's make our next steps towards uh, Icona Canyon. Alright, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to tune in next time for some more Time Warp and Madness. So in the meantime, make sure to stay safe. And as always, stay scary.